What's the one game that stands out to you? You've called countless big Kentucky football wins under Mark Stoops. Um, I know that hopefully there's plenty more to go. But when you look back on this run, is there is there any one that really stands out above the rest where you probably didn't even realize it was happening as it was happening in the radio booth? You know, in recent times, uh, the the Citrus Bowl win where you not only they won a New Year's Day bowl game over a, a name like Penn State, but you had Benny uh, break the school rushing record, which goes back to Sonny Collins or went back to Sonny Collins. So that was a you know a big moment in a big game. Uh, when they beat LSU, number one team in the country, uh, when Coach Brooks was here. And then the the one that will always stand out for me is just the, the very first game I did in August 30th, 1997, Kentucky-Louisville. And, you know, when the Kentucky – in my very first game, and when the Kentucky quarterback throws three touchdowns against Louisville in the first quarter, you tend to sound better. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank yeah. you to Tim. It doesn't <laughs> hurt, no doubt. <laughs> oh man, that uh, I, I still remember being a kid, and that was when before cell phones and people would put the chairs on top of their cars to find the tailgates. And I remember how Mummy's first game, somebody had wrapped up a dummy as a mummy, and that was the the kind of beacon to to find their tailgate. I I, I enjoyed that that Hal Mummy era. That was, who that was something else. <laughs> that was something else. Yeah, and and I'm always grateful to Hal. He was. Uh, gave me tremendous access, so I learned a lot uh, as a uh, first-time broadcaster at that level. Was there – because I know you, you kind of called games at the high school ranks. How did you get your big break where uh, you were pretty young starting out helping K. Wood Ledford out uh, in the booth? Yeah, I, was, I started in 89, so that would have been, would have been you know, what, 20, 28, um, doing uh, the scoreboard show. Uh, the station I worked at at the time uh, was WVLK, and they were the flagship for the Kentucky network. And so that was kind of where I wanted to be, was there to try to get on the team, so to speak, for the UK mm-hmm. network. And got to do the scoreboard show for eight years until um, got the chance to do play-by-play when Ralph uh, stepped aside from football in 97. And so, uh, you know, I think being on the team uh, was the strategy that worked for me. Uh, usually you have to, you know, go somewhere else and then come back uh, if, if it's fortunate enough, the timing and everything works out. So I was fortunate enough to be able to kind of stay at home and, and come up through the ranks and get the opportunity. And yeah, again, it's uh, part of it is just, you know, they would told me one time you sound better when they win. And, you know, when I started in 97, they started putting up a bunch of points with couch and yeast and those guys. And uh, it was a lot of fun and uh, fans were having fun. And so, they liked what they were hearing. <laughs> the team was <laughs> well, doing pretty well. You you were fortunate, and Kentucky fans are fortunate too, to be able to hear you call so many great hey. games over the years.